talk dirty to me. Talk dirty to me. What is up, my fellow paintballers? In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick gear breakdown of everything before I release any gameplay footage. I want you guys to know what I'm working with so you're not asking a bunch of questions wondering what's going on. We'll start with the good stuff first. My gun. I've got an Empire Defender, and I'll go over the perks of this gun. As you notice, there on each side, there is no hopper. The hopper of the gun is located in the stock. This is a 250 to, I think this is a 250 paintball hopper. Not 100% sure on that. Um, it does come with a quick load lid. If you want to put it in place, you can. I don't use those. You waste paintballs pouring in and running. You'll throw paintballs out. I've seen it done a bunch. Uh, you have a lot of Picatinny rails on this. You got um, perks. You can since you can look down the uh, sights and actually not have a hopper in your way. Put a scope on it. You got Picatinnies on both sides. You can mount lasers, flashlights, you know, whatever the hell you want. Okay, we'll go over the internals of the gun. Okay, in order to turn your gun on, hold down the black button for like a second. Green light comes on. That means it's in safety mode. No matter what you do, nothing's gonna happen. Put it in your first mode, you'll see a red blinking light. You hear your hopper kick on, your hopper is in tune with the gun, so every time you pull your trigger, your gun knows it. Okay, that single shot, flip it to the second red dot. Yellow, that's either double or three round burst. I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember. Then you flip it one more time to purple. Purple is fully automatic. I've played with them fully automatic. That and uh, single, and it is phenomenal shot right at 4,000 paintballs through it and I have not chopped a single paintball yet. Flip that back down to safety, nothing happens, then just turn your gun off. As you can hear, your hopper goes off with your gun. Go over batteries. This takes six AA batteries. They are located right here in the stock of the gun underneath the hopper. They come with your first six batteries, so you don't have to worry about going and buying batteries before your gun gets to you because it comes with them. And you just take that, slide it back on, put that in place, give it a little karate chop, you're good to go. Okay, comes with a forward grip. I did not have to purchase that. Comes on both sides of the gun. As you can see, there is an opening, a little black section with plastic. This is uh, access to your eye. If anything gets in there, paint, dirt, debris, easy access to cleaning your eye. Just pop it right back in place. Uh, this is a um, quick pressure valve release. This is really nice. You can depressurize your gun without having to twist your tank off. You just simply flick your little switch and there you go. You're depressurized. Simple as that. That basically covers the gun pretty much. Um, we'll move on to what else came with the gun other than the um, hopper lid replacement. This is your stock barrel. This is a freak ready barrel. These are three freak inserts that come with your gun. You have a .690, a .685, and a .680. These can go inside your barrel, as simple as this. That's all you do, you just throw it in there. These increase accuracy and a few other things, so those are phenomenal. If you don't know anything about the freak barrel systems, you've never used them, do a little research on them, you won't regret it. The only barrel that I do have, I have played with, is the Apex 2. This is a trick shot barrel, as you can see. I already have my Freak insert in. I use a 689, the Freak. Um, this is, works best in my environment for marbleizers. I'll go over my paintballs uh, later on in the video. Pop that back in. Since this is a trick shot barrel, you have a switch right here that controls a paddle inside, as you can see. What that does is you can twist either side, go up, down, well, you know, whatever you want to do. It lets you curve it that way, that way, that way, however you need to curve it. So what that does. So that covers my barrel and gun and what came with the gun. Let's move on to the next bit of it. Moving on to the freak barrels. Okay, this is the rest of the kit that I just showed you, those three aluminum pieces of metal that go in your barrel to increase accuracy. Well, there is a full kit if you do not know. There's all your bore sizes. Here's here the bore that I just showed you. I use, like I said, here is my location. Uh, basically, in order to measure these for whatever paintball you're using, just take, uh, take your slide out, pop your paintball in it, you wanna see if it works. 
blow dart through it. If your paintball shoots straight through it, no problems, then that's the one you need to use. If it rolls out of it, anything like that, then the bore size is uh, too big. Moving on from that. Now we'll cover the section about what I use to power my gun other than batteries. <clears throat> I use compressed air. This is a Ninja SL Pro V2 tank. I just received this probably two weeks ago. Um, as you can see, it has a gauge on it. This is adjustable. It goes, it changes from pressures. I have not adjusted that yet. I have not messed with that. This is a carbon fiber tank, 68 by 4,500. Um, this tank is really super lightweight. I have a Crossfire tank the same size, and this is a whole lot lighter. It has dust cap, double O-ring, really nice tank. If you got the money to get one, I definitely recommend you know getting one. Okay, moving on from that. Here is my mask. I use a Dye I4 mask, and these are not the stock lenses that come with it. They come with a clear lens. I wear sunglasses a lot, so therefore I replace them with sunglass lenses. Um, the ear flaps are really nice. They're not hard, heavy. They don't rub your ears or your face. Only downside to this mask is, is this is a small faced person's mask. If you have a large, tall forehead, it will stick over this. And if you have a long jawline, it will stick out the bottom of this. So short faces, short foreheads is perfect for this mask. I do not recommend somebody with a big face. Uh, perks to this mask has a large breathing capacity area so you can yell, scream, breathe really well. Uh, these are the easiest lenses I've ever had to change out. You literally push two buttons in there, push out from the inside, your lens is out, pop your new one in, pull your straps back, and it's locked in place. Simple as that. But these are die I4s. These are really nice. Now we're going to cover my vest section. Okay, this is what I use to carry my pods and other gear during combat. A lot of people use other pods. They use uh, back pods, small stuff. Me, I use a lot, I, I shoot a lot, I have a lot of gear, so I have to have a lot of pockets. This is really good for big scenario events. If you have anything that you need for identification purposes, you have a name ID plate. You have, if you play mag fed paintball, you have plenty of spare mag pouches. This is my uh, first aid little station. I used my battle swab in here. I have my rubber, rubber swab and there as well. Uh, these are my grenade pouches. I keep my grenade pouches on my right hand because I'm right-handed, so I throw them with my right hand, quick access. But yeah, this is just a really good vest. Um, it has a camel pack in the back, so for hot areas, you, got, you can stay hydrated in combat. It has a stomach wrap to help keep it stabilized so it's not rocking around a lot on you when you're running, ducking, dodging, diving. Ah. Okay. Now we'll get to the back of this bad boy. Um, it holds six pods, I only run four. I run my remote hose through right here. As you can see, there's still a little bit of paint on there. Um, I run my remote hose through here to keep things a little bit more organized so I don't have a hose sticking out doing stuff. Um, I use die lock lids, these are really nice. You can beat them around, bang them on stuff, throw them to your buddy if he needs some. Gotta pull the switch to open them. These are really good, reliable keep two spare in my bag. I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, this is a Tipman pack. I didn't think Tipman made really, really nice things, but uh, this is a really great pack. One size fits mostly all. You have side straps and then you have shoulder straps as well. Um, what I did was I had a little trouble getting mine to stay Velcroed, so I got mine to, uh, got my size properly and then I did a little stitching work to sew everything in place so it's a nice custom fit for me. Now we're gonna move on to my field bag. This is what I carry with me between battles and leave on the sidelines or on the bench, wherever, wherever everyone leaves their stuff. I'll go through what I have in it. Starting with the little zipper, working our way up. We've got Empire Lens Anti-Fog Cleaner. This stuff works great. If you're playing for four, five, six hours in a day, you're gonna have to clean your mask more than once or twice. So keep some of this on deck. Um, most paintball guns, uh, guns come with a toolkit. This is the toolkit that came with my Empire Defender. This basically lets you do your gun, do a rebuild once on your gun. So this is good to have so I don't get screwed out of playing if something happens to my gun. This is my paintball caddy. These things are amazing. If you're tired of carrying 
cardboard boxes, if you're tired of carrying plastic bags, if you're tired of carrying all that bullshit, get one of these paintball caddies. I recommend it. They're 10, 15 bucks. They hold 1,000 rounds. You have a really nice pour spout. You have a really nice dump hole to put everything in. So yeah, these are really awesome. And you can bang them around, drop them, and nothing's gonna happen to your paintballs inside. This is the remote hose that I was telling you guys about, and it is a matching name brand to my tank. This is a Ninja hose. I'll show you how this works really fast. It's really simple. This is your female part. I keep my male part screwed in to that when it's not in my gun. Take this piece, screw this in to where you would put your tank on your gun, like so. Oops. Like so. You have a close open valve uh, system so you can open and close the pressure on your tank whenever you need to. Push your little button in, push forward, there you go. Simple as that. And then your hose is pressurized and your gun's pressurized. Just as simple as that. I keep two die lock lids on me at all times just in case I break one. I want to be able to keep my four pods on me and running and gunning. I keep battle swabs on me, like I said, um, bend them in half, and they go straight in my vest just like that, no issue. I can swab out my barrel if I get a chop right in the middle of battle, pretty simple. Now we're gonna get to pads and gloves. Since, like I said, it's really hot in my area, uh, they, they, they do make jerseys and pants and all that stuff, but the pants are thick enough to keep you warm in 30 degree weather. So I definitely can't wear those in you know, this heat and humidity that I have. So I'll give you a little demonstration of these bad boys. These are pretty nice. They have a really nice thick um, forearm protector and elbow protector. So you can fall up against stuff and you won't frog your elbow, hit your funny bone, whatever. You have palm protection as well. Uh, these help a lot with bounces. You won't get near as many bounces with these. Just pull it on. The bottom of it's a really nice mesh that breathes really well. Then the back side, you have your nice protection. These are great. I recommend these for any hot environment for sure. Uh, gloves are the same name brand, just not the same color. Uh, they're pretty hot, so I haven't really got to wear them much. Double trigger, uh, trigger grips, you have your um, wiper on your thumb, you have a nice pad for the palm of your hand, and the back of this is really thick, so you get a lot of bounces with this, so th these come in handy a bunch. And last but not least, this is my favorite paintball that I like to use other than Evil and Ultra Evil, which my local paintball place does not sell that no more. I really wish they did, but they don't. This is the next best thing. This is my favorite thing, Empire Marbleizer. As you can see, this is a tournament grade paintball. Oh, it is a really nice paintball, really brightly colored. You can see it flying through the air. It has a yellow feel. So you know when you hit your target, and it has RP paint in it, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. TG gray paint, my bad, tournament grade. Thought it was RP paint that was inside of it. Yeah, RPS paint. Um, so you have a really bright, thick feel. Uh, the perks of this ball is Marking ability, 10, accuracy, 10, shell advantage, 10, consistency, 10, and I can vouch for all of that. As you can see, they've been around for 30 years, so they're, uh, you know, they know what the fuck they're doing. These paintballs are really great. You can get them in a couple different colors. Other than these, like I said, this is what my local paintball dealership sells, which, you know, not half bad. I like them. But uh, that basically covers all my stuff in this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, shoot me a comment and I'll get back to it as soon as I possibly can. Also in the comment section, let me know if you play paintball, if you play airsoft, if so, if you play paintball, what kind of gear do you use, what kind of gun do you run, do you like woods ball, speed ball, hyper ball, scenarios, mil simula uh, military simulation, um, what's your thing? Um, and I'll have some, like I said, I'll have some gameplay footage out pretty soon. Uh, I can only play on the weekends, so this is going to be a Saturday and Sunday a thing. Moto vlogs are going to be Monday through Friday pretty much. Not every day, but that's just going to be when you can expect those is Monday through Friday. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was remotely informing. If it was, let me know. And um, I'll see you guys out on the battlefield. Peace.